Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright series. In this series, we will be learning the playwright step by step, and this is our first video on the introduction to playwright. So let's begin. Playwright is very much popular these days and it is backed by the Microsoft. So let's understand about the playwright. What is playwright? So for that, go to the browser here, go to the google.com here, and search for playwright. And uh, this is the official website. Just click on this one here and here you will be seeing that playwright enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for the modern web applications so this means that you can automate your web applications end-to-end -end. so by end-to-end -end means that you are automating the web applications and the apis as well and when we talk about the different features of the playwright here so playwright supports multiple languages if you go here on the top you will see that node.js python java.net and then we have this docs here so whatever language you will select from here it will open the relevant documents for example right now is node.js is selected if i click on this one so it will open the relevant documentation with the node.js so you see that it's a node.js documentation here and if i go here and change it to the python now it says playwright for the python and if i click on this one it will guide us for the python playwright okay now uh, if we talk about the api similarly if i go here it will take us to the python apis where we see different classes and we will learn from here step by step and then uh, we have the community section if you go here you will be a part of the community as well uh, based on what language you have selected then they have an official github account with respect to the programming binding here so if you go here and click on this one so it will take us to the github microsoft playwright python repository similarly if i go here and change it to node.js now it will take us to the github node implementation okay so this is a complete repository here and then we talk about let's go to the main here and here you can join the discord so click on this one and from here you can join their discord server as well so if i go here click on join server so it will open your discord and here you will be landing on the playwright discord so here you will get a different help, different videos, different articles, events. So all things are available here on their Discord server. Then if we talk about their, you can change this theme from here. If you don't like a dark theme, so you click on this one. If you want to search any specific thing, go and search from here. Then if we talk about different features here, it supports all the latest browsers. So this is that any browser any platform one api so it supports cross browser which means it's including all the chromium browsers webkit and firefox then it supports the cross platform which means you can run your test on windows linux mac and so on and similarly we have a support for the multiple languages just which we saw earlier and you can also test the native mobile emulation of chrome google chrome for the android and for the mobile safari then uh, if we talk about the features itself they have resilient no flaky test and they have provided the auto weight they have provided the first web assertions so what is this so playwright assertions are catered specifically for the dynamic web checks are automatically retired until the necessary conditions are met right then they have a tracing feature here then there's no trade-offs no limits so when we talk about no trade-offs of no limits it means that if you are working with the multiple things like multiple tabs multiple origins multiple users it would be very really easy and you can make them a part of a single test then you have different event handling is pretty much easier here like whole elements interact with the dynamic controls right then you have uh, talk when we talk about the different test frames like shadow dom right so it's pretty much easier to handle then we talk about the different features for full assertion and fast execution 
browser context login ones and then there are powerful tooling available for the recording as well so code gen is basically generates the test by recording your actions save them into any language supported by the playwright then we have a playwright inspector through which we can inspect the page generate the locators step through the test execution and see click points and explore the execution logs as well then we have a trace viewer in the playwright which caps all the information to investigate why your test got failed so playwright trace contains the test execution screencast live dom snapshots action explorer test source and much more so we will be looking into these features step by step in our tutorials so this is the main documentation and um, this is all about in terms of introduction to playwright so before we end the session so let's summarize this playwright is by the microsoft it provides multiple language support it provides multiple browser supports it provides different uh, very good features like auto wait web first sessions tracing multiple origins multiple tab support short home support then you have a powerful tooling like code gen you have a playwright inspector trace viewer so we will be looking into these um, features step by step in our upcoming tutorials thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial